Yeah, absolutely, Jeff. And it's worth just uh, sort of running through first exactly what Ethereum is, because that is key to understanding what the merge is and effectively where this blockchain is going. Now, Ethereum is very different uh, from Bitcoin. Bitcoin very much set up uh, as a form of payment, this kind of internet money. Ethereum, meanwhile, being positioned as this sort of operating system on which to build uh, crypto apps. And the way Ethereum and Bitcoin work right now is on a system called proof of work and it's important to go through proof of work be proof of stake because that is key to the merge now proof of work is a mechanism that ethereum and bitcoin use uh, for validating transactions there's a network of miners running super fast and highly specialized computers effectively to solve complex mathematical puzzles that validates a transaction on each of these uh, networks and therefore those miners are rewarded in the respective cryptocurrency but proof of stake is very very different and that's where Ethereum will move to after the merge and it effectively means these validators on the network they can stake or lock up uh, a bunch of ether and this gives them the right to validate the blocks the more ether you have the more likely you are to be able to validate the blocks on the ethereum blockchain the idea according to the ethereum uh, uh, foundation is really that people put up their uh, Ethereum Ether as collateral and therefore uh, can be destroyed if some of these validators misbehave in any way uh, as well. The validators can earn rewards in, in uh, Ether but also in uh, transaction fees as well. The benefits are there's lower energy consumptions but the drawbacks really are this won't necessarily reduce the fees on the Ethereum network nor will it make the network any quicker at this point but proponents say this sets the prerequisite for being able to build better apps uh, going forward now what is happening with the merge exactly well ethereum is moving from this proof of work to proof of stake there is currently an ethereum proof of stake network called the beacon chain that runs at the moment that is going to merge with the main ethereum network this week at some point an anticipation is worth looking at how Ether has uh, performed versus Bitcoin since the lows of the year in June 19. Look at that huge outperformance. Ether up around 91% uh, versus Bitcoin at 19%. And that's really to do with the anticipation here that Ether uh, will, and Ethereum will become a better network, a faster network, and that will uh, boost growth. And part of this also is about people staking or locking up their Ether to participate in this. Regulator, regular investors can do this and earn a yield as well but the risks of course are that we're relying a lot on the ethereum code here and what if that fails the demand for new apps may be low that could dilute uh, the value of ether and what if a bo better blockchain technology comes along some of those competing chains but so far excitement is big here and you're seeing that in ether's outperformance guys